airline operators and petroleum marketers are the two stakeholders on each other's throats. While airline operators complain about the skyrocketing price of aviation fuel, marketers say prices are determined by market forces. There's a crisis at hand, which we all are too familiar with. Shutdown of airline operations has the potential of shutting down this government. We cannot sit here as stakeholders, fold our arms and watch this happen. The group managing director of the NNPC, Melekiari, was accused by airline operators of not releasing aviation fuel for them as agreed at the previous meeting. The operators are also insisting on getting their own license to import aviation fuel. Although the speaker and the deputy speaker tried to resolve the issue, the solution is still not in sight. We are not lying here. Now the, the 25,000 metric tons, was he given to us? No. When he came, he wasn't. The marketers, they had a meeting with us and we agreed with them how they were going to get the products. And when I called the GMD himself, you told me, GMD, with due respect, you told me that there was no way you were going to give the uh, 25,000 tons, uh, metric tons directly to us. I said, but the, the authority got across to us, had meeting with us, we had meeting with the marketers. He said, no, that's putting you. He said, you don't want any aircraft. What of people are doctorate it? I said, but the same marketers you're giving it to, we are go going to nominate them to sell this at our own price which we've already uh, started uh, the negotiation and agreement. That was what I said to you. And you said, no, 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 no you won't do it. Long and short of the story is that the NMPC gave the thing directly to marketers without our, uh, uh, without our input. So you cannot hold on to any price. And indeed, what you have seen in the media, the 700 Naira reference point cannot be a reference point. It depends on the market condition. It can be higher than 700 Naira per liter depending on what price the market gets to. So it's needless to say that even to target 700, it is, cannot be a reference for the right honorable speaker. This market shifts, as we speak now, is closely related to the price of crude oil. As it lands in this country, there are a number of things that happen which they have engaged with the uh, downstream authority to determine what exactly are the build up to the pricing. No two suppliers will have the same prices because suppliers buy at different prices from their own suppliers too. We want to get straight to the point. Are you ready to apply for a license? Yes. He's ready to so give you a license. To apply for the license, but there is an immediate demand that they are going to give us 25,000 metric ton. After that, the GMD refused to give that 25,000 metric ton. <laughs> Suppose they give that 25,000 metric, metric ton on that time, it will help us. To reduce our problem. If the effective price is even at 560 um, or 550, I'm just wondering why the marketer should be selling their products at 700 naira or 800 naira or 800 naira that I've heard people talk about. And I think we need to really ask the marketers how they're coming about their pricing um, uh, structure. If the pricing structure that came that came, that has come from the um, the authority is effectively at 560 without subsidy because nnpc we must also pity them they cannot continue to carry subsidy for all products no, i think the problem is this i think you see the problem is this oh, they, they have a problem with marketers marketers are selling to them at 700 yes. next month it will be 800 yes. Yes. obviously for them to have down short listers of people yes. these are people yes. that they are comfortable yes. with that they're what about the yeah, landing yeah, cost yeah, 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 yeah excellency the parameters cost. the four parameters that we, ex that we i'll greet here is to give transparent pricing. And until you follow this, you cannot do. There was a mild drama at the opening when the speaker insisted on the presence of CBN Governor Godwin Emefele, who had earlier been represented by the CBN Deputy Governor Kingsley Obiora.